I loved it because uh, my experience with NJTL in particular because it developed my love of tennis. Like I, you know, I didn't know I loved it, but it clearly it was something I absolutely just you know couldn't do without and took to it really really well. So my my best memories of tennis are just being outside sweating all summer long and you know running around and and uh, trying to get better. So, I mean, I don't know if they still do this, but at the end of uh, every year they had like a city tournament. And um, so this is my 1992 city champ trophy. This is my 94 city runner up trophy and my 1996 uh, advanced city champ one. So I think this is my last year in NJTL. And um, uh, Dan Fair was my coach. And he, um, uh, I think I was, I would have been uh, 11 or 12 when that happened. Yeah, Rick Fair and uh, um, he was, at least who I always remembered was the one that oversaw, because uh, I lived on the south side, Perry Meridian High School was where we moved to eventually from Perry Park, um, and Rick ran the ran the show, and then eventually his uh, son Dan, he would come home for the summers and teach, and, and uh, so it was like a family affair. His daughter Kelly, she would teach every once in a while, I think, as well, and um, you know, they were just a great family. They helped us all. Um, they loved tennis, obviously. They. You know, they, they taught me the game. I mean, I remember Dan, you know, like he was my coach, right? Like, I mean, he he, he taught me strategy, he taught me all these other things, and, um, and they were great people. Well, so NJTL, um, for me, not only was where I started, but I also, when I was in college, I came back and I taught. Um, so for me, uh, I think NJTL was super important to give me uh, my start in tennis and, and just to have availability to, you know, to, to learn, have a safe space to go learn and, and to grow and, and figure out the game. And um, uh, I mean, I loved being able to come back and give back and develop a lifelong, you know, passion for me. And I love to be able to come back and help other kids learn and grow as well. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know that would have been possible without NJTL. I mean, it wasn't like my family was, you know, super wealthy or something like that. I mean, they, they were, open. They did okay financially, but it wasn't like I was going to private clubs all the time or anything like that. I mean, NJTL was affordable. It was it was down the street. It was you know my mom could take me and just drop me off in the summers and come back and I'd be all sweaty and happy and, and you know it was, it was good to go. You know. <laughs>